Don't have a pass. Looks like a valid pass to me. And you go. Let him through. Talk to Roderick. He deals with the scruffy public. I notice you've been contemplating the gates into Twin Blades' quarters. Hmm. Perhaps we could cause a diversion to draw out the reserve guards. The gate would be open for you then. Of course, such a risky endeavor would require added. It's a very fair transaction in these arduous times. You're speaking to the wrong assassin. Talk to Roger. Don't let just anyone have a clash, you know. Get some experience in Barstone and Oakvale first. Clear off. No one comes through here. Except maybe the boss told me to look after this area. He's having a party. And that includes not letting anyone through this door, apart from the hostages providing the entertainment. And that's what I'm gonna do. Got it? Twin Blades Entertainment. Ain't they just lovely? <laughs> Gonna be a fun party, all right. Help! Let us out of here! So, ladies, looking forward to Twin Blade. Should be you at it. God has the key. Get it off him. Help us. Thank you so much. We were going to die, but we have to leave quickly before the guards notice. Twin Blades hostages have escaped. Grab them before they get away. Well, 
done. The gate is open. You can go to Twin Blades area now. Things are all... Oh. Oh. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Stand back, lads. Twin Blade wants a word with this little hero. Recognize your own sister. Her past once again before her, Teresa's memories returned in a blaze of fire. Oakvale was burning. She watched in silence as the bandits tortured her mother, then turned to her with questions of the missing boy. She answered them only with a stare and so their leader sliced out her eyes. The raiders took the boy's mother and left Teresa alone in the forest. There she crawled for three days, blind and desolate, until she was found by bandits, Twin Blade and his men. She began a new life of servitude among their clan. But the bandit king sensed her exceptional strength and power of will and listened as she whispered dark prophetic truths in her sleep. Those who could never accept this small blind girl standing by their master's side did not last long. When they attacked, she killed them without mercy and without emotion. for this was her place in the world now. I've 
I've seen so many things. So much killing. So much dying. I've seen you, little brother. In a ring of sand and blood. An arena full of secrets. And I've seen the choice you'll have to make one day. Between the darkness and the light. Teresa! I'm sorry, Twinblade. Your path is alone now. All our paths are. But before I leave, brother, I have a present for you. For all the birthdays I've missed. A power that runs in our family. He finds you when you're sleeping, and when the daylight fades. What are you waiting for? Finish it, or leave me alone. I'm dead anyway. I'm no one's king anymore. <laughs> That was a very impressive victory, Hero. But Maze has more news for you at the Guild. I suggest you return here at once. You've received a new quest card. Check the Guild for more quests. Sword to fight beside you. Chicken chasing. That makes you a bit. Oh, hello. Have you ever tried blue mushrooms? I shared one with this guy in the guild woods the other night, and it was just. Amazing! <laughs> I've never connected with someone like... Oh, Cyril. Nice to see. Chicken chaser. Chicken chaser? <laughs> <laughs> 